What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my Marvel Monday review. I'm Jordan Harris, and today we're going to be reviewing Captain America the Winter Soldier. And let me tell you this quickly. This movie was amazing. It's like you were watching a Fast and Furious movie with all those car chases, um, combat, and everything else you could see in a Fast and Furious movie. But we, before we get into this movie... I'm giving a shout out to Disney Plus and just letting you know some of the X-Men movies are coming out on Disney Plus. Most of them are. So if you are an X-Men fan, then go watch it on Disney Plus. If you don't have Disney Plus, then get it now. So let's start off with Captain America Winter Soldier. During the movie starts off with Captain America and and Sam Wilson on a jog. And if you don't remember Sam Wilson, you might know him as the Falcon. Later on in the comics, when Captain America becomes an old man, Sam gets to become the new Captain America and the leader of new leader of the Avengers. But what happened was Black Widow and Captain America are on a mission and they're going to a secret Hydra base and they fight some of the Hydra soldiers. But then Captain America caught Black Widow. Um Sneaking into computers. And I forgot what she just did, but she did get caught. And then we get to see Nick Fury again. And what I remember was um, there's a mysterious person named the Winter Soldier. And he shot Nick Fury. And out in the world, everyone thought Nick Fury was killed. Captain America tried to defeat Winter Soldier, but... He was too tough, and he went away. For Captain America, he later found out that most of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents aren't actually S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Most of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents work for HYDRA, the German organization. And it surprised me during this movie, because I wouldn't believe any S.H.I.E.L.D. agents would actually be part of HYDRA. And it really blew my mind. Same thing with um, the Secretary of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't know if he was Secretary or something, but Alexander Pierce was actually found out that he was Hydra. And it surprised me too. So later on, I remembered where um, Nick Fury shot, shot um, Alexander Pierce. And it was surprising to see many S.H.I.E.L.D. agents as Hydra. It was crazy, even for Brock Rumlow, also known as Crossbones. One time, Natasha and Steve went to Sam's house, and they asked him if they could use his help. And he tells them that he was used to be part of the Air Force and was wearing a flying suit that had wings. And that's, and that's the name they got from the Falcon. That was his name. So... He was back and started wearing the wing suit. So then we have Winter Soldier committing a lot of crimes, committing a lot of mass homicide. Captain America, on the other hand, was in action, and it was a big fight against Cap and Winter Soldier. Bucky, I mean, Winter Soldier's mask came off, and it was revealed that the Winter Soldier was Bucky Barnes. Captain America's best friend during World War II. Captain America couldn't believe it. And actually, Bucky Barnes was the Winter Soldier. He was a bad guy, but actually, he was brainwashed by Hydra. They explained how Hydra found him. They made him into a lethal weapon, and they named him the Winter Soldier. And it was really, really surprising. To, to find out that it was Bucky Barnes all this time. There was a big fight against S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra. Captain America tries to tell Bucky that... He tries to make Bucky remember who he, who he is and his best friend, Steve. But Bucky didn't believe Steve and started beating up Steve. Although, although they fell into the water, they still su survived. Bucky saved Steve's life. And then ran away. For Black Widow and 
and Captain America, they saved the day along with their new friend, Falcon. Nick Fury, on the other hand, was not dead. Everyone thought he died. Now he's pretending that he is dead and he doesn't want no one to know that he's still alive, making him an unknown character. And it was really good to see a, a good Captain America movie. There, but during the, the post credit scene, we see we see our Hydra dictator having two young teenagers inside a cell with different superpowers. Quicksilver, who's super fast, and Scarlet Witch, who has a power that contains telekinesis. And they were twins who were at who are actually working for Hydra. In the comics, they were the son and daughter of Magneto, but they never mentioned Magneto on there in the movie because the X-Men is not part of the Marvel Universe because they're not much part of Disney. But anyway, this movie was amazing. Having a new character, which was um, Sam Wilson, um, and also bringing back Bucky, but into an uh, evil version of Bucky, Bucky, which is the Winter Soldier. And this was a really great Captain America movie to show how, how you can see an old for a friend, but, um, but the old friend can turn into a different person, have a different personality. And I, it's, we have that problem a lot. Having a friend during in the past but having a different person acting a different way is pretty crazy but on the other hand great captain america movie had amazing had amazing characters had amazing storyline really this was a good one and the next movie i will be reviewing is a really great action-packed movie but also a full of comedy and that is Guardians of the Galaxy and that is a really good movie too. Also I want to say thank you for watching my video. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Yeah just comment down below how do you feel about how yeah just, <laughs> I meant just comment down below how you feel about this Captain America movie and how do you feel that Bucky Barnes was still alive. How do you feel about were you surprised that Bucky was still alive? Just comment down on your thoughts, subscribe to my channel, and stay safe and be healthy during COVID-19. Thank you for joining me. Remember, next time I will be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy, but not next week because I'm going on a trip. So in the following Monday, I will be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you later.